Ooh, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Darku and in this video I'm asking you, does your Pokemon look kinda lame? Or are you looking for a great encounter counter? Well, have no fear, your boy Darku has made this video to show you how to download and install the Archetype Theme and the Archetype Encounter Counter, which are both amazing. So in this video I'll be showing you how to download the theme for Archetype as well as the Encounter Counter and also how to customise your theme as well with different colours. You may have seen in my streams or in my other videos that I've got the Luxray colours on my Encounter Counter. So I'll be showing you how to do all of that today. First things first then, you're going to need the links that I'm going to be bringing up. They'll be in the description of this video. And if you're in the Darkus Pookies Discord, you can also do exclamation point theme and it will come up with what I use. And you can also do exclamation mark counter and it will come up with the encounter counter that I use as well. So we're going to be clicking on both of these links right about now, and I'll show you what they look like. So they're both on GitHub, and we're going to be showing you how to install both of these things. So we'll obviously do one at a time. We're on the archetype theme first, so we want to go to the very top of the GitHub page, and we're going to click the download zip option. And then whilst we're doing this, we're also going to go to the other one, which is the archetype encounter counter, I'm going to go to the download zip as well and grab that at the same time. We're going to wait for these two to download and then we will be right back. So there we go, we're back and we've got the archetype main here which is the theme that we've downloaded and we've got this counter and counter counter over here as well. So we're going to do one at a time obviously. The first thing we want to do is find our PokeMMO folder. Now if you actually don't know where it is, like mine's quite simply on our shortcuts over here, however I'm going to show you where to find it if you don't know. So if you've got like a shortcut on your desktop or you've got it on your start bar like so, going to go ahead and find our little PokeMMO, right click it, right click PokeMMO, go to properties, open up this little bit here and go to open file location at the bottom. Now we can close that bit. Now that we're on here we want to go to data and themes and this will be where all your theme folders are. Now we're going to go inside this archetype main, this is in a WinRAR folder so we need to open this up. I think even WinZip you could open this up. We're going to go into the archetype main into the folder we're going to go into themes and then we'll see this archetype theme here. We're going to go ahead and drag that in just like so. Now that we've done that, we can close this. We're going to keep this open because we want to do the encounter counter in just a second. So we're just going to minimize it for now. And just remember that the archetype theme is now in there. So what we want to do is now start PokeMMO. You'll see that PokeMMO is loaded with the default theme. We're going to go ahead to the bottom right to settings. And then we want to go to interface on the left hand side here, change the main theme here to archetype. Then we're going to quickly save and restart the game. So there we go, we're going to save, and there you can see just like this. We're just going to quickly close it one more time and reload PokeMMO. So you did see the theme change, but you should restart to make sure it completely changes and has no problem. As you can see, this really, really nice default archetype theme. I'm going to log in like so and just quickly show you some of the nice differences that you'll notice. At the top you'll see the hot bar has obviously changed like really nice things. Your top left uh, UI has changed as well and your bottom right as well. And if you view Pokemon obviously they're a little bit different. Uh, yours will be obviously just like this but the main things that will change. So here you go, you've got the black and blue absolutely everywhere. The reason why this is gold is because it is actually a Luxray uh, electric type. All the Pokemon still have their own colours uh, for this. But you'll see that everything is black and blue, even like the GTL, etc. Nice and black and blue. Like it is a really, really nice color. But at the end, near the end of this video, we'll show you how to change that as well. But this is how you install the archetype theme. Up next, then we have the archetype encounter counter. So we're just going to quickly open this up. It's in a WinRAR file once more. And just like this, we've got the archetype counter main. We're going to now close that file. What we can do is once again right click PokeMMO. Go to your properties, open file location just like so, so we know where this is. And we're going to go into data this time and we're going to go ahead to mods. And what we're going to do is this archetype encounter counter main here, we're going to drag this in just like so. After that's done then, you'll see it right here. We're not going to do anything with that just yet. We're actually going to launch PokeMMO first before launching it. So there we go, we've launched PokeMMO now and we're going to quickly open up this archetype and counter counter. And we're going to load this first before making it a shortcut or anything like that. We just want to quickly give it a load to give it a quick boot up. And there you can see it changed the counter there. Test notification detection. And we just click OK. No problems with that. No problems with that either. It's just going to restart our game so that it can boot up properly and here you go with the encounter counter right here as well. I'm just going to log in one more time. 
And there you go. From this point on, it will now count all the encounter counters you have. So, for example, if we go ahead just down here and we use our fishing rod, it should pop up with the first thing. In fact, you can't fish down there, so we're going to fish here instead. <laughs> Here we go, here's our encounter here with a fishing rod. Here's our encounter counter right here. I'm just going to drag it to the top, just like so. And any second now, it should just count this as an encounter. There it is, one encounter. It's the polywag. We can now run away. The great thing about this is, obviously mine's already on the bottom right of the screen here, but yours might not be. What you can do is quickly show hidden icons like this, and you might have your encounter counter on there. And then you can also right-click it, and you, you can actually drag it out. So for instance, I don't have NVIDIA settings down here visible. So I can just drag this out and pin it like that, and you can see now that NVIDIA settings is now down here. Like, and I can close that, and it's still down there. So you can do the same thing with your encounter counter, just like that. And here you go, so encountered, if you hover over it, it'll say encountered polywag1. Obviously, that will try and count everything. If you want to reset this, obviously, you can do many, many things with the encounter counter. But you can obviously go to, I think it's like settings, and obviously, like, reset it, etc. when you find your shiny. Once again, if you didn't know, and you're new to PokeMO, the encounter counter is not a guaranteed shiny. You'd never get a guaranteed shiny, because like, the actual shiny rates are 1 in 30,000. You That does not mean you're a guaranteed a shiny at 30,000 encounters. That does not mean that at all. This is strictly just a visible thing, so you can see how much time and effort you've put in to finding a shiny, and how long it's taken you. The encounter counter actually doesn't help you with shiny hunting at all. It just lets you know how many you've been through before finding one. So there we go then, now you can close Pokemon Mo, and you'll notice that this archetype counter encounter has actually changed icon and stuff, now that it's been fully booted and it recognises your Pokemon Mo, you can now go to this archetype counter here, and drag it to your start if you want to, or drag it to your desktop as a shortcut, now that that is properly loaded. Do not make a shortcut before it's done that though, otherwise you might have trouble, but yeah, now that that's done, you can now make a shortcut of it, as you can see I've got one down here, I can always launch this, and you can also have it so that when Pokemon launches, this launches with it. I think there comes up with an option. Mine's already gone because I've had this for a long time. Okay, the last thing I wanted to show you obviously is changing the colors of your archetype theme, so you don't have to have the black and blue. If you're not here to change your colors, you're quite happy just to have the main theme itself and the encounter counter. That's fine. You can finish the video there, but I'm just going to quickly show you how to change those colors if you wanted your own custom one. So obviously you want to go back to the program files and find your Pokemon Mo. I'm going to go into data and themes once again. And you can see the archetype right here. And even in here you can choose your own colors as a notepad. So we're going to open that up and you'll see it like this. And it may be a bit confusing. But have no fear because the reality is it's basically just the hex code of a color that you want. And there's also a little guide here. If you click on this image it'll say choose your colors guide. And it's just this image here, and it'll basically outline every little bit that you can change, just like this. So main color means this whole thing, so like the whole blue bit of everything basically is the main color. Your sub colors, like these little bits, like this, which you can change as well. The button color, obviously you can change, and the accent color, literally everything you can change. So once again, if we click on choose your colors, you'll know that the main color is here. This is what it says in brackets. Once again, if we open this picture, you'll know that the main color is the white color here, so it's the box here. Like everything blue, the really nice blue, that's the main color. So we're going to change the main blue on everything, again, main color. And you'll see that the hex code for that blue is right here. So what we want to do is just change this hex code to a color we really want. Now you can go to like a website like this one, so you'll find, literally you can type in hex code on Google and it'll, you know, come up with all kinds of color with hex codes. So for this one specifically, we're going to go ahead and we've got our golden Luxray color right here. So we can just copy that color, so it's he uh, hashtag FFD552, that's the Luxray color right there. And we're just going to quickly change this right here, so hashtag 42, we're just going to quickly change that to the FFD552. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and save that, and we're going to close everything, and now if we launch PokeMMO, our main color will actually be the black and gold, instead of the black and the blue. As you can see right here, just immediately uh, on the logon screen, you can see that we've got the gold going on. And if we open this up, obviously Luxray already had this because of the typing, but our bag, just like so, and our GCL, etc., is all now the Luxray color. So there you go, ladies and gents. That is how you install the archetype uh, theme. That is how you install the archetype encounter counter, which are, in my opinion, some of the best looking themes and obviously the best encounter counter that you can download in the whole game. And obviously I've shown you now how you can change the color as well. I really hope this helps. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that business. 
and check out my other Pokemon guides and videos. I appreciate you. See ya!